Welcome back to the Ultimate Hunter's Guide, everybody. Uh, I think you guys know what's going to be happening today. No surprises really for this episode. We're going to be continuing on with Blight Town. Uh, I did everything that I wanted to, I think. Let me just check. So I didn't end up getting any large shards too. It's at least going to be enough to upgrade my bow as well to plus six. Once we get back to the surface, we are going to obviously do the boss here first, ring the second bell before even attempting to climb out of here. And I think there is a couple of more large shards lying around, which depending on how lazy I am, uh, I'm feeling pretty lazy today. I'm either going to get or not get. There's definitely at least one over there. Even over here. Yep. And I think there's one in the corner, right? Shit, there isn't. Why did I think there was? Must be getting it confused with something else. Or it's... At some other location. Because I swear there used to be one. Ah, whatever. It's not gonna kill me. We have a lot of large shards in Sense Fortress, which we are gonna get to today. I don't think Quaylag is going to pose too much of a challenge, as she always, like, tends not to. Pretty easy boss. Question is, do I summon Mildred? Nah, fuck it. No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna cheap out that much. Don't worry. Gotta watch the cutscene though. You gotta give it some respect. You know what this cutscene is all about. It's all about that waifu shit. People are probably already simping the new... Uh, Elden Ring waifu as well. What is she called? I, she's not a maiden, is she? Uh, or firekeeper, not a firekeeper, obviously. See here, the interesting thing about Quelag is you can actually hit the lady business, and it it stuns her. So, I mean, it's obviously not easy to do. Because you gotta have the dope free aiming, but it's possible, you see? I think that is a critical point for Koilag. Uh, she does take more damage when you hit that part. That's one of the things that the, the speedrun sort of exploits. Uh, and I might be like completely, you know, like not up to date on my Dark Souls 1 speedrun strats. But the tactic I remember used to be that you specifically got the Black Knight Halberd for Quelag like this. Because essentially what happens is that the way the Black Knight Halberd hitbox is... It allows you to hit the lady part and basically infinitely stun lock her. But see, this has advantages that you can essentially stop her from spitting out lava if you're quick enough. She gonna? I thought she was gonna explode. See, pretty cool. It does a fair bit of damage, too. I mean, the thing is, let's be honest here, this boss wasn't too big of a challenge before this. It's not gonna be too big of a challenge after this, either. I wonder if you could interrupt that. Probably because of the angle, no. But yeah, again, what I was saying is that 
We definitely have the new primo waifu for Elden Ring. Um, next gen waifu too, exclusively next gen waifu. So all the fan art makers are gonna be happy because even Sekiro, you know, that's a last gen waifu. And this one seems like the most waifu uh, like maiden out of all the Souls games. So yeah, still hyped, still hyped. Um, I know you guys, there were some discussions on Elden Ring in the comments. Some people are hyped, some people less so. You know, I said my opinion. Honestly, the thing that I still am kind of worried about is how much is gonna ape Dark Souls 3's sort of general combat, like, feel. Because you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of Dark Souls 3's combat style. <clears throat> Excuse me, it kind of feels like they were trying to do Bloodborne without actually committing to the super fast gameplay, but whatever. I like Dark Souls 3 as well, just in general. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna homer button the hell out of here. And we have quite a journey. Quite a journey up back to Firelink, which... How am I burping so much? I just had jalapeno chips, tortilla chips before starting. I don't know why. Uh, I just felt like getting down with some pino, you know, jalapeno. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. Let's go back to Firelink, where we're not gonna have a bonfire, so... Yeah, let's not be surprised by that when we get back up. I'm just thinking whether I want to go ahead and pick up the Firekeeper Soul that's over here. But then again, the issue is that we won't be able to actually upgrade our flasks until... Well, we could have done it at the other Quelag, the Quelag sister. We won't be able to do it until an Orlando. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Because... Yeah, there's one over there as well. I'm just thinking about whether I should get it. We'll wait until we rescue. Or, like, not rescue, but restore the Firekeeper. The thing is, this build... I'm not gonna put too many points into actual HP. There's no point, really. Uh, just in general, no point. So I think we're gonna be okay with, like, plus one, plus two Estus. The rest of it don't really matter. Okay, anyways, let's just pick up this key item. And of course the set, which is not a bad looking set as well. This one has pieces which are pretty sick. Because one of the things I'm definitely gonna do is get some like decent armor. Cool. Let's just go. I'll talk to Framd. He's boring anyways, and... We'll get back to Andre. Okay, well, that was quite a hike. Uh, not even gonna lie. I think what we're gonna do here is we will... Upgrade the bow, definitely. And then we need to purchase some arrows. I still have 170, which might not look... Like it's... Like, not enough, but it's probably not enough. I'm just gonna go with the simi. One thing I didn't mention, obviously, is that we are... Oh, yeah. I straight up forgot. One thing I didn't mention is that we basically have our weapon ingredients at this point. Uh, now that we've killed Quelag, So... That is also... Oh, look at that. I love it when you have zero souls. When it just kind of happens like that. This is gonna be a ranged battle. Does this guy have a weak spot as well? On his head? 69? No, no he doesn't. It's possible to like safely attack him too. Fuck. This guy has like the most Dark Souls 2 hitboxes in this game. Um, 
What was I saying? I was talking about something before. Maybe Elden Ring? No, I wanted to... We're done with the Elden Ring topic. Oh yeah, the jalapeno chips that I was eating. Nothing compares to all the Americans watching will probably remember this. Like when Doritos had that limited edition like buffalo wing flavored chips. That shit was the best. I think that was like 2015. They had two like limited edition flavors. One was like street taco, which wasn't that good. The other one was this like buffalo wing. Um, yeah, it was just buffalo wing. And for quite a while, uh, my weekend consisted of getting those chips, Cool Ranch dip, Game of Thrones, that was, because the new episode of Game of Thrones always came out that way, like at that time, and that was pretty much our weekend with the fam, Game of Thrones, Buffalo Wing Doritos, and that was not a good time when they got rid of that, that's the thing about them limited edition flavors, you know, once it's gone, it's gone, Oreos tend to be like that as well. I'm always kind of pissed that I missed out on uh, the watermelon Oreos because that that was actually probably something that's interesting. Apparently, it did taste interesting. The only one I got to taste from those limited edition ones was the mint, which I think was one that they actually kept around. The mint one wasn't too bad. It's a bit toothpastey, but other than that, it was okay. And there was something else. I think I had the the pumpkin one as well for Halloween. And the US is unbeatable with shit like this. <coughs> no wonder I was fat as fuck when I got back in 2016. Like, I'm 13 kilos lighter right now than I was when we moved back from the US. And it was not even like, I didn't eat like an asshole anyways in the US either, but you know, I was in college, limited dining options, you know, I had a lot of Subway, uh, hot dogs and shit like, you know, you know what the US is like. People who live here, live there, high fructose corn syrup, they love that shit. God damn it. They love that corn syrup, those boys. God damn it. Okay, this is not gonna work. Yeah, because she's fast. Okay, whatever. Good timing on that, too. Or maybe not. It's one of the disadvantages of this weapon. It kind of has the white swing, so it tends to get caught up and stuff. But yeah, again, the US is unbeatable there. The one thing I still consistently get is the breakfast cereals. I've talked about this before. I definitely have. Um, how, like, European cereals are on some, like, shit tier. Um, compared to anything in the US. This is not good. Why are both of these fuckers still alive? Yeah. That was all one hit, as in a stun lock. <sighs> Don't forget your point about cereals. Because I'm gonna cut out the run back. That was like the first death in a long time as well. Actually, uh, getting back here or dying has inspired me to change my armor. Uh, this is the dingy set, plus I'm wearing that stupid gargoyle helm. It's looking okay. Uh, obviously, we'll switch something, switch to something better uh, down the line. But for now, this this should be okay. 
See, uh, now all these fuckers are dead. Why weren't they dead before? Whatever. So the cereal thing. Uh, yeah. So US cereal game is unbelievably good. And luckily, you can get it here. Uh, you can get some of them here. Because uh, people have spotted the gap in the market, you know. That's also a cool weapon, the shotel. What you have to consider though is always, you know, not even serial quality, but see the real true tacticians think about serial synergy. It's like putting together a team in, I don't know, league or something. You gotta, you gotta think about your synergies, because like, fuck. These boulders have interesting hitboxes, and that's like the understatement of the century. You know, I've talked about serial synergies before, but you know, one of the issues with like the fruity cereals is that they have very low synergy with anything else. Like, if you have your fruity pebbles, you like can't put, I don't know, anything chocolatey after, it's just not gonna work. Like that really fake fruit flavor isn't gonna synergize. Like that, that cereal has low synergy. Something that has like high synergy is like something like Frosted Flakes. <coughs> Frosted Flakes go with anything. Same with like, um, fuck, what is it called? I really just forgot the name. Mm -hmm. Lucky Charms, that's the one. Lucky Charms, high synergy. Like, you can put chocolatey shit, cinnamony shit after that. You can eat it with the fruity ones, it doesn't matter. Good synergy. Well, that's what you have to consider with your cereal game. Especially when the aforementioned US cereals are expensive as fuck, so you will only have like at max one or two boxes at home. Anyways, we are making pretty good progress here. I'm probably gonna, yeah, Big Hat Logan will unlock him because why not? It doesn't really matter. That will consider... Like, that will count as us rescuing Zigrid as well. So you just have to... But actually, man, it's such a long walk down there. And you have to loop back around. Boring as fuck. Oh well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't even know why I'm doing this, don't ask me. Big Hat will do absolutely nothing for us because I don't plan on using any magic. Fuck. That that was... That traveled way longer than... It like normally does. Doesn't it? Or didn't it? Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Anyways, what a Big Hat. That is... How you skip the dialogue. I gotta mash that shit. <laughs> Look at that tree. <laughs> oh man. See, this would have been upgraded if this was GTA Definitive Edition. Sure as hell worked on those trees, man. I don't even know. I'm still debating whether I'm gonna pick that up. Uh, I looked at some reviews and shit, and it looks like GTA 3 is still kind of shitty. Like, I saw the rain effects. Holy shit, that's gonna make you sick. But then again, Vice City and San Andreas. That sounds pretty good. Problem is this thing reactivates for some reason. Anyways, let's just get back. And we're pretty much coming up on the last, like, leg of Sand Fortress. No, actually no. I thought there was only one more section, but there's actually two little sections left. 
This place, of course, is nowhere near as scary as it looks. Man, I died so much coming up here the first time around. Partially due to the control scheme of this game as well, which is kind of awkward. Especially if you're not used to it. Just in general for souls. But yeah, didn't even know how to do the traps. It's like walk through city for me. That first Dark Souls playthrough. Now I can do this shit blindfolded. That's how much I've been no lifing this game. But which of us hasn't <coughs> hasn't been? I got jalapeno chips stuck on my throat. In my throat. On my throat? That's it's not English grammar. Oh yeah, completely forgot that I... Okay. You know what I was gonna try and it don't work. Just forget it then. Mm. Oh, okay. I was like, am I stoned or is there supposed to be one here? And there is one there. But why wasn't it attacking us? I don't care. I'll take a freebie when I see one. Without any argument, don't worry. Anyways, we're gonna hit up the bonfire. And then just shortcut. There is an item here, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. It's just we gotta get rid of this loud motherfucker first. No, actually, first shortcut, probably. Because we can upgrade our stuff now. That's gonna be mega helpful. No, it's definitely get rid of the annoying dude first. The giant. Because there are more large shards scattered throughout the area. Look at that parry. We're gonna do this attack. Such a strange attack. It's like a little flip. Doesn't he do more of a... I thought the character does more of a jump, but apparently not. Yeah, you need the special key for it. Which we are going to get. Once we take care of bitchness up here. <laughs> that iron goal. Interesting. Why did he run? There's like a bunch of shit happening here that doesn't normally happen. Anyways, can you just cheese this guy? Shoot him in the crotch? You can, but... The issue is it's gonna take like a year for me to kill him this way. Oh yeah, and speaking of broken hitboxes, this guy is like the poster child of that. Is that the freak out? Yeah, I think it is. No, it's not. Does he have a double stomp? Strange. Anyways, give me the chonko. But more importantly, you're gonna be quiet. And you might be wondering about Mr. Tarkus. And if you're wondering, I'd say don't wonder because he's gonna be summoned. Like, there is no playthrough where Iron Tarkus goes unsummoned. You can bet your ass on that. Alright, floating dude. <laughs> this is such a such a like cheap trick to make him look bigger and you can see it like if you know about it you can definitely see it okay do you sell ammo standard arrows oh yeah this is the first guy that sells um sniper bolts and feather arrows 
as you can see that's expensive as hell and I don't know man my belief is that standard arrows are king pretty much throughout the entire game so you know that's basically what we're gonna be sticking to okay I'm just gonna pick up the key because this tower is long as hell cool so we have the key and we also need to get a uh, very important not so important but still key item the sniper crossbow this thing is a giant piece of shit I would probably wager that out of all the uh, ranged weapons in this game the sniper crossbow is by far the shittiest I mean look at that shot speed did you see that this thing takes like a year to fire it takes like a year to reload and it misses come on I'm gonna 13 damage amazing amazing yeah the sniper crossbow is fucking awful um, it looks cool and of course marvelous Chester uses it for much better effect but god that is such a piece of shit and it's such a shame too because they put all this effort into the model for it and yeah like I said I would wager that it's the oh, fuck I'd wager that it's the worst ranged weapon in the entire game can't believe this guy is giving me trouble out of all the enemies so yeah that's about probably all you're going to see of the sniper crossbow the only really the only crossbow that's worth any time especially on this playthrough where we have bows anyways is the Avalyn and we won't get the Avalyn for quite a while okay so we have the key uh, what we would need to do now is for sure pick up the large shards scattered around here which that is not a large shard but this is We might as well kill this guy. I'll get to what's his name, um, Rapier Knight, in a bit. Ouch. See, I'm taking a lot of damage. Obviously, my armor is very poor, and I don't have a lot of health either. That's just the kind of build we're rocking. healing right in my face bold move bold move see the greatsword is nice but here I would have preferred actually getting a large shard which these guys can't drop but hey you can't have everything can you and this is gonna be not too bad of a track but a track anyways but I would say this is one of the best shortcuts in the game. In terms of convenience, definitely. And it's really after here that a lot of these cool shortcuts start disappearing. And the game definitely becomes a little bit more hello there. Straightforward after this. Especially after Ornstein and Smo. Actually, I should say I'm lying there because Anna Londo has quite a few cool shortcuts but yeah this one definitely dope the only thing you gotta remember is not rest at the stupid bonfire just by instinct because then it's a pain in the ass to get back and now you can just homeward bone okay what do we have here? 
We have some reinforcements. Uh, I'm gonna keep it equal. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I can do both actually. Yeah, and if I wasn't splitting my resources between two weapons, I could upgrade one of them fully. But I can't. It doesn't matter. Mm, Crest of Artorias. That does unlock quite a bit. But it's not gonna matter for a little bit. You guys know what's over there. But we'll take care of all of that later. For now, I think what I'm gonna do is I will level up and as I level up, I'm going to start wrapping up today's episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ultimate Hunter Guide. We cleared the shittiest weapon for this playthrough for sure. And now it's on to just bigger and better things. If you did enjoy this video... Oh yeah, I don't, shouldn't wave just yet. I gotta do my little speech. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. As always... Comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching and take care and see you next time. Goodbye.